Hi there, this is Andrea Mowry of Drea Renee Knits, and today I'm going to demonstrate how I like to do small cables without having to fiddle around with a cable needle. Because sometimes when you're just rearranging one stitch over another, it can just slow you down having to pull out a cable needle. So this is how I do it. My edge stitch is just knit. I'm going to move that out of the way. And I'm actually at the point of closing up a little honeycomb cable right here. So I love the honeycomb cable. I use this in both Winter Honey and my new sack pattern, Tuku Honey. And so I am at what is called a C2F or a cable to front. And for this, I need this stitch to be held to the front so I can knit the second stitch and then go back and knit this so that they're kind of swapping places and they're closing the top right half of my honeycomb. So you have two different ways you can do this. I'm going to demonstrate both, but I'm going to start with the first way simply just dropping it off your needle and letting it hang to the front, knit the second stitch, place it back on your needle, and knit that first stitch. Now this works great, especially if you're using sticky yarn, because it's not just going to unravel down just in that little short period of time that it's dropping to the front. And because we don't have to stretch a far way um, to knit the next stitch, it just kind of hangs out for a minute. So now I have a cable to back. So this one's even easier because I don't actually have to pop anything off. I can just go ahead. I need this first stitch to end up behind my second stitch. So what I can do is I can just knit the second stitch. And then before I pull it off my needle, I just go ahead and knit the first stitch. And because I've knit them in the order I need them, once I pull them off my needle, they've swapped places and they are now closing up my little honeycomb there. Now I'm gonna show you the other way that you can work your C2F, your cable to front. So instead of dropping this stitch to the front, which will feel scary for a lot of us knitters, we don't like to drop our stitches. So the other option is you can simply knit into the back loop of your second stitch and then knit into the front loop of your first stitch and then pull them both off. Now we've achieved the same result as the way we had done it the first time without any scary dropping of stitches. Now, you'll notice we knit through the back loop of that second stitch, so it is twisted. You could untwist it as you come back on your purl side, on your wrong side of your work, but to be honest, I've never even found that it posed a problem, so I just leave it as is. All right, I'm gonna switch over to Continental now to demonstrate these methods for my Continental left-handed pickers. So I am at a cable to back where I need this stitch to go to the back and this one to the front. So I'm going to insert my needle into my second stitch and I'm gonna knit it. And then, without dropping it off, first I'm going to knit my first stitch, and then they can both come off. Now, I'm going to show again how to not have to drop a stitch off. I'm going to go into the back of the second stitch. This is for a cable to front, a C2F. And then I'm going to knit through the first stitch and then pop them both off. All right, and now I'm ready for another cable to back. So I knit into the second stitch, and you can see how that pulls it in front of the stitch, which I need to go to the back. And now I knit this stitch, and there we go. And then to demonstrate letting it drop to the front, Again, this is a great way to do it if you're using sticky yarn. So I just pop it off and let it fall to the front, knit the second stitch, place that first stitch back on my needle, and knit it. All right, 
I'll demonstrate the last few back in English. So I am now to a cable to back. So I insert my needle into the second stitch to knit that one first. And then I go back to this first stitch and knit that one and pop them both off. And then I knit through the back loop for a cable to front of my second stitch. And then the front, you know what, I think I split that stitch. Let's do that one again. So I go into the back loop of my second stitch. And then into the front leg of my first stitch. And pop them both off. So you can see, even as I'm just slowly demonstrating my way across, how much quicker these methods can be than using a cable needle. That being said, there is nothing wrong with using a cable needle. So if that's where your comfort zone lays, go ahead and stick with that method. But it's always fun to play around with trying a new technique and seeing how you like it. It's the best part about being a knitter is we get to find what techniques we find the most joy in doing, and then stick with those. So there we go. Cabled my way across without a needle.